How's it going lads, I'm Nucleus and welcome back for more of the latest VR news. In this video I'm going to compare the Oculus Quest and the Vicosmos Elite spec-wise and just generally hopefully find out which one is the best for you. But before we get into the video, if you enjoy my content then please consider subscribing so you will never miss out on the latest VR news. And now on with the video. The Oculus Quest released on the 21st of May 2019 and is just over a year old. This though does not mean it is in any way worse just because it is older and is definitely one of the most revolutionary headsets out there. The Cosmos Elite was released on the 18th of March 2020 so it should in theory have better specs due to being released just under a year later. That said, they do both excel in different situations. Okay, the way I'm going to structure this video is first off start with a direct spec comparison and then I'll talk about which one is best for you and finally a conclusion of if they are actually worth it. First though, let's have a look at the specs. Both headsets are pretty decent spec wise, but let's start with the Quest. Of course the Quest is a standalone 6 degrees of freedom headset that can become a PC VR headset with the help of Oculus Link. The Oculus Quest, despite being older, is still pretty brilliant spec-wise. Um, of course, it has a resolution of 1440 by 1600 pixels per eye, which is a massive update from the Rift. Um, it also has dual OLED displays which give true colours and make it very vibrant. The refresh rate on it, um, the other hand, is a bit below of what you want with 72Hz but then again the Quest was the first proper standalone VR gaming headset out there. I've noticed a few frame drops when moving around um, with that, you know, the 72Hz refresh rate but it is barely noticeable um, and I think the rest of it kind of weighs that out. Um, it also has a field of view of around 100 degrees. But we don't really know what the field of view is, but it, I think it is around 100 degrees. And of course the Snapdragon 835 System 1 processor that was first produced in 2017 has aged a little bit um, in 2020, but does still do the job very well. With 4GB of RAM, it has more than enough um, than what is needed, and with 2-3 to three hours of playtime, it gives a pretty good overall experience and lots of time to play your favourite VR games. Speaking of games, the Quest now has a huge amount of brilliant games to play, with more and more coming in every month. Of course one of the big things about the Quest at the start was there weren't many games because it was the Quest Store, but now it has amassed a huge collection, um, with of course more and more coming in when, you know, in a month ways and more. Of course, it has the two touch controllers and weighs 571 grams or 1.25 pounds, which does make it a bit front heavy but can be fixed with a battery pack or just adjust the straps to fit your head shape and it's much better. And of course, now we finally come to the price. The 64GB model costs £399 and the 128GB model costs £499. A lot of people have been asking, you know, whether 64 gigabytes is good enough or you need the 128 gigabyte. 64 is fine. I've got a 64 gigabyte one. More than enough space. Lots of games I've downloaded and I still have loads of room left. And I got it just as it came out, so I've been playing for a long time. Now that we've finished with the quest, we come onto the Vive Cosmos Elite. Now, the Cosmos Elite is a PC VR headset to start with, meaning it does have requirements that your PC needs to meet to be able to use it. I'm just going to run through the minimum requirements for now. Um, I'll put the recommended ones on the screen afterwards, but here we go. The processor must be an Intel Core i5 4590 or AMD FX 8350 equivalent or better. You must have a GPU um, of an NVIDIA GeForce GTX 960 4GB or AMD Radeon R9290 4GB or equivalent or better VR ready graphics card. Um, so you can refer to AMD or NVIDIA's VR ready website for a list of their VR ready graphics cards. Um, so you've got to check that first. You don't want to buy a headset which you can't use. And 
uh, you need at least four gigabytes of RAM. That shouldn't be too much of a problem for most people. Um, and a DisplayPort 1.2 or newer, and a USB 3.0 port um, or newer. And finally, you have to be running Windows 10. Now, this of course is just the minimum specs, and I'll put the recommended specs up as up just now on screen. Um, you can pause the video here if you want to go through them. I would advise playing if you know try and get recommended specs it does give a better experience but it shouldn't be too bad and now we get to the actual specs of the cosmos elite the cosmos elite gives 1440 by 1700 pixels per eye which is just above that of the quest but not by much um, and the dual 3.4 inch lcd displays are nice but where it is better than the quest is the refresh rate with one of 90Hz, it is not great for a PC VR headset. Um, the index has one of 120Hz um, and can go to 144Hz. Um, but, you know, it's good enough. It's in that mid-range where you'd expect a PC VR headset to be. The Rift S has one of 82 and that's basically the bare minimum for PC VR. The Vive Cosmos Elite has a field of view of 110 degrees, which is the same as the Rift S as well, and that is perfectly good and looks really nice when you're playing. And of course it sticks with the Vive controllers as well as the Vive Base Stations 1.0. Now that we are finished with the specs, let's get onto which is the best for you, or you know, which one is the best headset for you. For me, the Vive Cosmos Elite is probably not worth the price, as it costs over £900, and for that you get a headset that is just marginally better than the Quest spec-wise, which is less than half the price. Also, if you are willing to spend that much money to buy the Cosmos Elite, then you can get a Valve Index for just a tiny bit more, and it gives much better experience all round. And with the Index, you get the Knuckles as well as Half-Life Alex. Oh, I've just come back to this in the post, and I've realised that the Cosmos Elite does actually give Half-Life Alex and a year's subscription to Viveport for free, but I don't think it's worth it in the long run. Um, I still think it's better to stick with the Index. So in conclusion, if you are looking to get into VR and you don't want to spend too much, or you don't have a good enough PC to run a PC VR headset, then the Quest is perfect. It delivers pretty stunning visuals, you can run proper games, it's gaming standalone VR, it's game collection is amazing, with tons coming out, and it's just an all round brilliant headset. But if you are willing to spend the big buck and go for a high end PC VR headset, then I think if you're going to spend that money on, the, um, on a headset that much, then don't get the Cosmos Elite, just spend a tiny bit more and get the Valve Index that is better in pretty much every way. Well, I really do hope this video has been helpful to you and possibly given the insight to decide which headset is best for you. Thanks for watching and if you do like my stuff and you are new here, then do consider subscribing. We are so close to 100 subscribers. That's all for now. Thanks for watching and I'll see you soon for more of the latest VR news. Thanks lads.